Another round of crisis may be brewing in the health sector here in Lagos as nurses have declared a three-day warning strike and threatened to shut down health institutions in the state over poor welfare. TVC News senior correspondent Sharon Ejasson reports. <laughs> Nigerian nurses and midwives held its Congress, which started with a brief meeting with the state government officials. For several minutes, workers expressed their agitation against the presence of government officials. For them, their demands have to be met urgently. After much persuasion, the workers decided to listen to the special advisor to the Lagos State Governor on Industrial Relations. Minutes after, he was ushered out of the Congress as workers were not happy with his proposal. The government has met with the leadership of the union and all the issues presented to the, to the government have been addressed and decisions taken uh, together along with the leadership of the union with a view to look into all their requests. In fact, most of the requests, actions are ongoing on them for a positive uh, uh, implementation. The directive for strike by the union is slated to commence from 8 a.m. on Monday, the 10th of January. I hereby declare a three-day warning strike effective from 8 a.m. on Monday, 10th of January, 2022. Some of their demands are resolving shortage of nurses and midwives as well as retention of incentives to arrest turnover rates, proper consolidation of current salary structure and improved working conditions, representation in all relevant boards and policy-making agencies, improved equipment, life insurance scheme for nurses, midwives and other health workers. No, no work, no pay. We are back ready. If you want to send all of us out, we are going. We are going. UK is expecting us. Canada is expecting us. We are not falling here. We are going to where we are falling. The union wants the public to see the three-day warning strike as a struggle for improved care for them, as well as the fight to ensure that the health sector is placed in a better position to serve the people. Sharon Ejasson, TVC News.